All right, MG here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the world's famous track, and we have the two-seater experience coming up. I'm joined by the lovely Stacy oh, Pace. Oh, my good friend. You're good lovely, to see you, too. Stacey. Thank you. Hey now, guys. a lot of excitement. We're going to be going around this track 180 miles per hour. Are you excited about this? I'm mad, actually. I am <laughs> mad that I have to be in the second seat. <laughs> I want to be in the first seat and push about 210. So we'll be getting dressed a little bit. We'll keep you up to date on all that's going on. And You'll get to see us after. We'll see what Stacy has to say once we're done. <laughs> I want to go again. <laughs> All right, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm probably about a, a 10 in the scale of nervousness right now. Oh, come on. Should I be, should I be, much, now we're going to go about a 180 out yeah. there. Okay. It, don't worry, everyone's nervous. Are you nervous? Yes. He's nervous. Yes, nervous? I am. He's nervous. <laughs> so collectively, there's a 30 here, uh, right? Okay. Everyone's a 10? <laughs> Feel much better. All right, it's time to get uh, dressed. Uh, Man, Matt Hicks, producer, track side, here on 1070 The Fan. Matt, how you feeling right now? I'm, We're walking I'm towards the field. <laughs> I'm nervous. You know, this is, this is very exciting, but very nerve-wracking at the same time. Yeah, I'm, I'm reminded of a joke by uh, D.L. Hughley when he talked about, you know, people being afraid of dying. And they say, oh, when it's, when it's your time, you know what I mean? It, you know, the whole thing about when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. But what if we're in this two-seater and it's the driver's time? Well, that's, see, now that's not fair. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not a good, that's not fair at all. Look at me, I'm excited. Michael's like... Describe the experience. Well, there, there really isn't anything like it. I mean, you know, it's, you know, you, you go in to turn one and you're just praying it sticks. <laughs> you know, you do the warm up lap and then you and then you head into turn one and you just think, man, this thing better stick and it stuck, so we're okay. But it was, it was great. It how, was a lot how, of fun. How fast did it take to get up to speed? Oh, uh, we were, we felt like we were up to speed by the back stretch. <laughs> there you go. To <laughs> Only slightly. <laughs> Victory that I didn't soil myself. That was, uh, that was fantastic. That was tremendous. <laughs> Are we just wrapping up? Going full speed after that first warm up lap. Yeah. What was going through your mind as you went through that first turn? I was so peaceful. I thought, you know what? I love my job. I love what I do, but I'm in the wrong business. I need to be going around this track. I need to be in that front seat. I, oh my gosh, that was amazing. I was so peaceful and at ease. I mean, I, of course, a lot of that goes into trusting your driver, but. I was just so peaceful going to that first turn. I wanted to go faster. And I tried to pay attention to I didn't want to be locked on one area of the track. I tried to see how close we got to the wall and uh -huh. all that. It was phenomenal. Yeah, me, I just had my eyes closed the whole time. Oh. It just held on for good. No, I'm kidding. No, it was fantastic. I'm just hoping they keep the four wheels yes. down as you go through those turns. You go so fast, you don't think that they're going to stick, but it did. And I'm just glad we had good drivers. 